Welcome back. This is Rupesh, and you are watching CPP Nets video series on C++. And in this video, we will be learning about for loop. So first of all, try to understand what is loop. So when someone tells loop in your program, it means something like this: keep on rotating. Okay. So we call this a loop, right? But in our program, we have three things to maintain these loop. Okay. So first one is start. so this will tell from where your loop will start okay and another thing is where it will end and the middle part is executing the statements okay let's try to understand it like this way you want to print some message 10 time then you will be writing like c out and that message and this thing you will repeat for 10 times okay like this and the last c out which will have the same message okay so this is first time and this is ninth time so all this between is 0 to 9 means 10 time now let's suppose you want to print 100 times then you will have to write this single statement 100 times right like see out the same message like let's suppose you are printing c++ and you want to print this 100 times okay so 0 to 99 means 100 so are you going to write it that many time is there any way to write it little shorter way yes there is a way and the answer to that is your loop okay so let's try to understand this how this loop work so for that i'll write a very simple program which will take the start and the end of the loop so for that we need one variable let's suppose i here okay and you will initialize it with zero and let's suppose there is another thing called for loop i will be zero i less than 10 i plus plus and then you are printing your message what message you wanted to print let's suppose i was telling the c++ right so we are printing c++ okay so no need to take variable value here yeah so this is going to work as you want it okay so this is going to print c++ 10 time okay 0 to 9 i is less than 10 so we'll understand this little later first let's print that so count this 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 10 10 okay so this is total 10 so let's try to execute this line by line here so first you are coming here you are declaring a variable name i that is okay there is this white space nothing is there you will come to this this is a for loop okay and this is the syntax of writing that there are three portion first portion second portion and third portion so let's number them so i'll tell you how this whole thing will work this is for loop it will come here and it will initialize i is equal to 0 first time so this will execute so i is having 0 now so let's initialize it with 0 okay now second statement will ex execute and it will check i is less than 10 yes this 0 is less than 10 here so this is true and it will go inside this loop this is not going to go inside this third statement third statement will come once this loop is over okay so after checking this second condition yes it is true it will in go inside loop and inside loop we have this statement so this will execute once it is executed and let's suppose there are other statement also those statement will executed and once it will hit this and bracket which tells that this is the end of this for loop so the start is this one and end is this one once it will hit this end it will go again back so this time it will not go from here this time it will go from here this is very important point and it will execute this one now so i++ will get executed we all know what is this i++ this i++ is nothing but i is equal to i+1 okay so i will get incremented by 1 so this time i is 1 here now after executing this one it will go to this one remember this step first it came here 
it executed this one i was initialized with 0 here then it went here i was less than 10 yes it is true once the condition is true it entered into the loop executed whatever the statements was there it hit this end of this for loop it came back from this side and now it is executing this i plus plus it is executed now it is again going to check this condition okay then this one is less than 10 here yes it is true if this is true here it is again going to enter in, into your loop and then it will again execute your c out okay once it is executed it will hit this end of this for loop then it will again come here like this and it will increment i plus plus which will make this 2 less than 10 so this is true now again it will go here so it will check i is less than 10 yes 2 is less than 10 then yes you are allowed to insert inside loop so it will again execute this c plus plus once it is executed it will hit this for loop end bracket it will come back again this way okay execute this i plus plus it will make it 3 then this i will get checked it will go to this one again and it will check i is less than 10 yes it is less than 10 it is true if it is true it will again insert did you notice this is not coming now this i plus 0 is not coming now because this is one time execution later on we'll be dealing with this one and this one only okay so this is how this whole thing work we need a variable like i to simulate some loop here okay so this is very easy to understand okay so instead of this plus here we can use minus code also so let's check how to work with that now so instead of min plus we can use minus but for that you need this i is equal to 10 here and then i should be greater than 0 okay so this will work now so we can execute this now let's execute this and see the result again the same 10 times c plus plus is coming okay see so it is just a logic so as i told your first statement will execute one time only so this i is equal to 10 will execute one time so let's write it like this this will get executed this is first this is second and this is third so this will get executed i is equal to 10 so initially i is equal to 10 here okay then as i told after executing this one it will go here so i is greater than 0 yes it is greater than 0 because it is 10 so is it greater than 0 yes it is true so it will execute your c out okay i mean it will go inside your loop so it entered inside loop executed this statement whatever statement we have written there is only one statement that's why it is printing only one thing and executing only one statement if you will write 10 or 1000 or more than that statements it will execute that and once it will hit this four ending bracket which tells that this is the limit of this four and this four start here and end here so it will come back so as i told once it is hitting this it will come back from here and will increment this but in this case it is going to decrement because this is i minus minus so i minus minus is like i minus 1 okay so i is equal to i minus 1 got it so this time i will become 9 here so after executing this one we'll go here and we'll check this i is greater than 0 yes it is true because i is 9 and it is greater than 0 so it will again in, insert into this loop so likewise it will keep on coming and executing keep on coming and executing so it will execute 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 time so when it is printing 10 time so that time i would be i is equal to 1 which is greater than 0 so it printed that but when it is printing last time it is again coming back and i is equal to i minus 1 which is this statement is making this i 0 okay because one time it will become 0 right it is keep on decrementing so as it is 10 9 and one time like it is going from here and here it will become 0 sometime and then this condition will come and we will check is it greater than 0 no it is not greater than 0 so once this condition is false this for loop will terminate 
and will come out of this so out of this means whatever the boundary of this for loop would be will come from that so will come from this whole program whatever is this much and we'll start executing from here but there is no line in here so we'll just return okay so this is how this whole thing execute in for loop so this is how this for loop work got it this was a very basic video about for loop if you want to learn advanced thing about for loop watch out my next video which is about quiz on for loops which will help you out to understand this for loop even better okay because there are lots of corner cases like if you are not writing this one then what would happen if you are not writing this one what would happen if you are writing this i minus minus here then what would happen so lots of things are there which i don't want to cover here because it will get so much messy because someone might be looking just for the sake of knowing what is for loop they don't want to get into that much but there are few people who want to master everything in programming so if you are that kind of people watch out my next video okay so i'll see you in the next video